What is going on, Cosmic Army? PTS42 here, and welcome back to One Shot. Last time we left off, well, first off, Nico's sitting here. He's looking real sad because we kind of left him in the dark for a little bit. I'm back, Nico. I don't think anyone else is noticing it either. Am I the only one who is seeing this? Maybe, Nico. Probably. You might be the only one seeing this. But anyway, last time we um, made our way into the Glen and we. I guess kind of just puzzled our way through it. We found Maze, this flower entity, and she wasn't doing so well. So we left the sun with her so she could feel the warmth of the sun for possibly the last time because she was not in a good state when we found her. And now we are here with Alula and her older brother. And uh, yeah, this is where we are. This is where we left off. So let's go ahead and. Uh, see what's going on over here there's an entrance to an underground passage here it's flooded though oh is that what this is over here let's check this out then okay here we go what's over here anything we can do whoa there's no way we can get over there unless Nico knows how to swim but I don't think that's the case it looks like it used to lead somewhere yeah the sacred grounds it's been a while since we went there. We don't have a way of getting there now, remember? There isn't a boat and none of us can swim in. What's the sacred grounds? It's where our people are buried. Sometimes we go to visit mom. Oh, that's sad. Well, her grave anyway. Oh, wait, how did you get there? I thought you said there isn't a boat. Oh, our friend helps us. He has some sort of, <laughs> sort of machine that allows him to fly. But aren't you guys birds? Shouldn't you be able to fly anyway? Maybe not. I guess not. Sometimes it, he takes us along. But like I was about to say, we haven't seen him around for a while. I wonder when he'll come back. I wish we could go see mom again. Oh, Nico. Come on, Alula. Let's go back to the courtyard now. Okay. Man. Dude. Heavy. Man, so I guess the sacred grounds is where all of their people and family members even are buried. There's a ball over here. It's a ball. Hey, that's mine. It doesn't bounce around as much as it used to, though. Oh, poor little thing. All right. Well, what else? Oh, are you leaving now? Good luck, Nico. We believe in you. Oh, are you leaving now? It was nice to meet you. Really, thanks for everything. So, I guess that's everything we can do here. Uh, let's take a quick look at our inventory. They did give us a feather. And we do have a bottle of dye, and if you remember correctly, we need to sign our name onto a piece of paper in order to progress further. Oh wait, this is their bedroom. This is their house. Wrong- I went to the wrong room. But we need to, um sign our name on a piece of paper in order to progress somewhere I don't really know exactly where it is but first off before we go do that we should probably see if we can pick up the Sun yeah here we go uh, all right let's check up on her and see how she is oh wow what is this the light's gone out. Peyton! Do you know what happened? I don't, Nico. I do- I really don't. You- Really? But- But- Oh. What am I gonna do? Oh. The sun's coming- The- The sun's coming back. Oh, it lit up again. Phew! She's gone. Oh. There's something on the ground here. It looks like a kernel of corn. She must have left it behind. Okay. I don't really know what purpose that serves, but I guess it's- a remembrance of Maze, and I guess we'll keep that on us in order to remember her. So let's run back to the big giant robot guardian of uh, the Glen here and sign our name on that piece of paper. I think that's what we need to do next. There he is. All right, so let's go into our inventory and let's combine the feather. Com Feather, there we go. Nope. Feather and the bottle of dye. Yeah, we can use a feather as a pen. I saw it in a picture book once. Sweet. Feather pen. Alright, now we can sign our name on that 
Quality piece of paper. Peyton, I'm too tired to go on right now. Please let me nap for a bit somewhere. I remember seeing a room to the west. It looked like it might be a good place to take a rest. Oh, Nico's already tired. Maybe it's in here? Oh, nice. Okay. All right, Nico. I'm a little tired from walking. Is it all right if I take a nap? Yes, Nico. Anything for you. I'll see you in a minute. Have a good rest. There it goes. All right. Let's, um... Launch it up again. Oh, Nico. He's dreaming. Oh, now he's running towards his... Oh, he's running towards his village. Poor Nico. I'm so sorry. Oh. I feel so bad for him. He just got taken into this world for God knows why. And I guess I am God in this instance, but I don't know why he's here. Peyton, I had another dream. Did you see this one too? I did. Yes. I was in a big field like the one in my last dream. And I saw my village, but then I woke up. I don't know if this world has anything like that. I mean, big wheat fields. The only big plants I've seen are a bunch of weird trees. And those balls of moss floating in the water. Wait, is moss even a plant? Say, have you seen a wheat field before, Peyton? I have. Oh, they're really pretty, aren't they? The one around my village goes around for miles. The plants are really tall, and sometimes I can't even see through them. When it's windy out, the wind makes waves in it. It's like an ocean of food. Oh, wait, but there's food in the regular oceans, too, like fish or crabs. I've never actually been to a real ocean until now, actually. I've been to the ocean, Nico. That's really cool, Peyton. I've only seen the ocean on TV before. I never thought that I'd get to ride a boat through one. The water back home doesn't have glowy stuff like how it is here either. Uh, but I guess it's because this world is already so dark. You know, I used to be scared of the dark, Peyton. It's a little hard to imagine that after spending so much time here. But not long ago, I couldn't even sleep without a lamp. Aww. Nico. Well, I guess it is good that you got over it. I guess. Otherwise, I wouldn't last long here. That's very true. Then again, I've been carrying around the sun, so it's not too bad. And also, I don't feel scared at all with you guiding me. So thanks for that. Aw, oh, Nico, thanks, man. Anyway, maybe we should head out now, Peyton. I think that's... I think that's a great idea, Nico. Let's go ahead and head out and see where this takes us. Let's sign our name on this piece of paper, finally. Let's do this. All right, please write your name here. Scribble, scribble, scribble. All right, are we good to go, Mr. Dude? Good luck. Did I take away my pen? No, I still I still have the feather. I don't have a pen. All right, here we go. Let's go. Wherever this takes us, I don't know. Whoa, look at this. There's a door there. We can't go anywhere else, so I guess let's just go inside the door. Whoa! That won the world? Yeah, right? Let's get let's get away from that, Nico. We don't want anything to do with that. Oh god, it's coming everywhere right now, dude. Come on, get out of there, Nico. We got this. You and me. Nothing can tear you and me apart, my boy. Where are we now? <gasps> Look! Did we already make it to the city? Looks like we're in the city. Wow. Cool. Look, it's all red and... Oh, wow. All right. Let's see what's going on over here. There's a big guard. Ah, the sun. Hello, Masai. Welcome to the refuge. Do you understand what you must do here? I'm supposed to go inside the tower, right? I already see the tower, so I guess we must be close. Where's the entrance? On the surface. The surface? Look down, small one. Whoa, we're pretty, we're pretty high up. I guess we gotta get down a lot of stairs or find an elevator. Correct. However, the tower is a sacred place. Finding the entrance may be easy, but that will, well, that alone will not be enough. What do you mean? Once you reach the surface, I recommend visiting the library for Le of Leeds. All right, thank you. Off you go then, I wish you luck. Oh, I'm afraid this area of off, li what? off limits to the Messiah? I don't think so, game. 
Only the bear of the sacred kernel is permitted access to the garden. Is this a... It's a... A seed apparently left behind by Maze. Is this the kernel? Oh, like... A kernel of corn? I have this. This is left behind by the plant lady in the glen. Oh, that is indeed the kernel. Good stuff. Okay, then it is your duty to regrow her. Do you understand what you must do? Um, no. Take the seed to the garden. Plant it in the pot in the center. You may not pass. You may now pass through here and access the garden. Okay, sweet. Let's go ahead and do that. All right, let's go up. Here we go. Whoa, it's like a light bulb. All right, time to put the seed in the planter. All right, there's no dirt in this pot. Oh no, will the seed really grow like this? I guess not. Is there anything around here? Doesn't look like it. Dang, all right, well, I guess we need to find some dirt. I guess that's what we need to do, so let's go ahead and try to do that. Let's go ahead and make our way downwards and see where this takes us. I got a whole new... Whoa. Come on. Come on. Work already. Huh? What was that? I don't know, Nico. Your guess is as good as mine. Let's go check it out. Oh, we got a person. What up, dude? Come on. Come on. I'm too busy for this. Uh, excuse me. Whoa. You're... You. Ah, oh, jeez. I didn't think I was going to run into... This is embarrassing. Um, is there any uh, anything I can help you with? Yes, please. I would like to know how to get to the surface. Yeah, I uh, I was afraid you were gonna say that. Right now, the elevator is the only way to get access to the surface. But yeah, just take a look at it. Nico's like, it looks like an elevator. Well, you're not wrong, but <sighs> take a look at the button panel. All right. Huh? There aren't any buttons. Yep, that's the problem. There's usually a big button here that says ground on it. You know, because it takes you to the ground area. But now it's been ripped out or something. I tried looking everywhere for it to no avail. Maybe it exploded. Do you think we'll have to make a new one? What? How? We'll figure it out. We got two young gents. I'm the Messiah and you are you. I don't know how useful you are, but you know, we can figure this out. Do you think you'll be able to make that button? Well, no pressure, kid. I'll just stick to my original plan. Time to kick the door again. Yeah! <laughs> it's like, meh. <laughs> my foot hurts. And he goes like, ah, poor, poor little doodums. Alright, well, I guess we need to fix the elevator door and find some dirt. But let's start investigating off to the left side here and see, whoa, what in the world is going on over here? Whoa, look at this big old room. What's this? We got a room here. The door's locked from the inside. Okay, can't go there. Let's, I guess, make our way down this way. Alright, all these doors locked? Is this one locked? No, it's not. Hey. Are you an intruder? Because if you are, I model 8XM home security bot TM serial number 39232B. 839W4 will have to report you. Oh, sorry. I kind of just walked in because the door was unlocked. Do you want me to leave? Scanning for suspicious activity. Suspic suspicious activity detected zero. Well, I guess as long as I don't do anything bad. Yeah, Nico, don't do anything bad. Can we... It's off. Is that everything? Just the computer? Landscape painting? I guess so. Let's just get out of here. There's something over here. A bathroom. Anything in the bathroom? Ah, we got some seasons. All right, on a pile of hair. I don't think anyone's using it anymore. Sweet, we got a pair of scissors that I don't know what to use for, but we have them just in case we need them. <laughs> Let's go into, inside this door. <laughs> oh, there's a person. Hello, person. <laughs> uh. Ever. Me, 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 me. Okay. <laughs> Every interaction I have with a girl ever. It's a big penguin plush. Hello, penguin. Hello. I'm just gonna back away slowly. Let's just get out of there. We got another door. Let's go ahead and go in here and see what's in here. We got another robot. 
Hello, would you like to play a game? Oh, sure. What game would you like to play? Hmm, do you know rock, paper, scissors? Desired difficulty level, huh? Desired duration of turns? Uh, please select your timer. Never mind. Okay, my parents are like literally never home. But I don't mind, I'm used to it. <laughs> Besides, I've got I've got model CWT2 Gen Unit 4E here to keep me company now. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! She, <laughs> she still talks a little weird sometimes, but that's okay. She's learning. If I work real hard, she might even get tamed someday. I I keep hearing that word. What? Tamed? <laughs> tamed? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Nobody's ever told me what it means yet. It's just a robot thing. I can't really explain it either. Ah. <laughs> uh, well, thank you. <laughs> Thanks for the lols. <laughs> Alright, let's go in here. What's in this room? What's behind door number four? Ah, oh, someone from the Glen. I just moved here from the Glen. Things are so different in the city. You've been to the Glen, right? Yeah, everything's so green back there. I really miss it. My neighbor gave me some plants to cheer me up, but... I should probably get a muzzle for Betsy here. Hi, Betsy. <laughs> back to you, too. Bye to you too. All right, to the next door. Hello, hey, it's a Roomba. I'm not sure what this is. It's like a little car. Nico, you should definitely ride it. What? Do it, Nico. Um. Oh, look at Nico. He's riding the Roomba Ruski. It's off. And there's nothing else we can do in here, other than enjoy this quality Roomba sesh we've got going on. All right. That was fun. I agree, Nico. And I just got an achievement. We ride at dawn. Cool. And there's another room there. And there's a staircase that leads down. Let's check out this room. We got some potted plants. Oh, this is definitely an interesting room we've got going on here. Let's talk to you. Hello there. You have a lot of plants. I do. I grew all of them myself, you see. And if you haven't noticed, I am literally a potted plant. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I can see that. Feel free to ask me about them. Oh, you're a gardener, right? Yep. Do you happen to have any dirt? I'm for growing plants, I mean. Yep. Do you need some? Yes, I do. I'm supposed to plant the seed left behind by the plant lady, but the pot in the garden doesn't have any soil. I see. So, who you? I know who you're talking about. Yeah, here, take this whole bag. Thanks. Yeah, we got a whole bag of, of dirt now. Yay. Filled with plant clippings. Hmm. All right, well, we got dirt. Good enough. Sure enough. Can we go over here? We can't. Okay. So, let's go ahead and make our way downwards. And we're in a weird little cafe, maybe? Restaurant? Oh, we got some something on the refrigerator here. Let's take these. This fridge has magnet on, magnets on it. Maybe they'll come in handy. I hope nobody will mind us taking them. I hope not, Nico. That wouldn't be too good for our reputation. And we got... A T- Mr. TV head- head here. Hey there. Hello! You, the messiah. Mm-hmm. I like your scarf. Thank you! My mama made it for me. Tell her I like her needlework. I will, when I see her again. If... If you see him again, Nico. I hope you get to see him again. Pile of large books. Some of the pages are dog-eared. Okay. I guess that's everything in here. Looks like I can unlash this door. Okay, and is that... Okay, it is. That is the door that was locked from earlier, and now it's unlocked so we can uh, make our way to and from. But now we have a bag of dirt. So, let's make our way back to the garden where we planted the kernel and hopefully continue planting the kernel. Uh, we've got a bag of dirt now, so I think that should be enough. I hope... Let's find out, shall we? Let's grab our dirt, toss that in there. I hope this helps you grow, little seed. Boom, the seed is in the soil, but it looks a bit dry. Oh, and we have the tube of water from, from the Glen. Very nice, okay, good thinking, Peyton. Water should help the seed grow. Yes, the dirt is nice and moist now, but what if it dries out? There's only so much water in this little tube. I'll hold on to the tube for now, just in case. 
So are we gonna have to run back and forth to water this thing throughout our journey as the messiah in this strange dark universe? Possibly. I don't know, but we haven't really explored what's to the right of us, so let's... Or to the right of the elevator, I should say. So let's run this way and see what's over here. Because we need something in, or in order to craft a new button. Oh, this guy's got a clock face. What? Why does everybody have a face of, like, an inanimate objects? I don't really understand, but it is the city after all, and there are a lot of strange people in the city. So, good afternoon. Well, the time of day doesn't really mean anything now. The sun's gone. Well, the night never seems the end. Oh, then how can you tell? Time, I mean. I have my ways. Alright. Well, thanks for letting me know. Oh, what's this? Can I pick that up? Tape dispenser. It's bolted to the table. <laughs> okay. Stapler. It's bolted to the table. Why are these bolted onto to the table? They're just bolted to the table so people won't steal them. Feel free to use them, though. Okay, we got a terminal here. Some kind of computer terminal. I am the power room mechanic. Do you have an issue to report? Yeah, actually, the surface access elevator appears to be broken. There's a button missing, and can you go take a look? Leaving this room is not in my programming. Ah, never mind. Well, let's see if there's anything we can do with anything we have. I don't know. Maybe we can use the magnets on the tape. Tape dispenser bolts to the table. I guess we can't. Alright, so I guess we need more items still for this puzzle. Is, there, is this a room? It is a room. Oh god, this got real dark. Alright, let's head up here and see what is going on over here. Cause I- oh! Let's investigate that, can we? Heavy piece of metal. I think it might be a door of some kind to like a vault. Okay, there's a small screen here in the middle. Okay, good. Can we head up? Upwards? Where is this gonna take me? Whoa. Look at this. We're just running? I guess does it take me anywhere? Oh, wow. I've actually never been to a big city before. All the lights and all these people. I guess most of the world's population lives here. Yeah, I, I would guess so, just from the looks of things. It looks like it, that's for sure. Look at that, Nico. How does that make you feel, Nico? Very curious, huh? Oh, that's it. Okay. Well, I guess we'll keep moving. Keep moving forward, at least. Alright. It's very different from my village. The village is very small and surrounded by huge fields. You saw a bit of that in one of my dreams before a while ago. I did. The tallest building in our village are only two stories tall. That's... Wow, Nico. This must be a... Literally a whole different world to you. What about you, Peyton? And he's like looking straight at me right now. Where do you live? Uh, I don't live in a village. I guess a city, maybe. But I'm gonna say someplace else. Something that isn't a city or a village? Like a ship? Well, maybe not a ship. Can you imagine living in a city like this though? I can't. It's kind of scary, but also really cool. Hmm. Nico, you are one interesting individual. Oh, we got a... Is this... Did I just walk in like a big circle? I think so. I did. Alright. Me and Nico got to spend some quality time on the rooftops, though, so I'm not complaining. Nico and I need some quality time together, even though we literally spend every waking minute together. And we have a computer terminal! Hello! Here we go! What are you gonna do to me now? You're going to need this soon. Take this film and expose it to the void. The answer will be revealed when you bring it back again. The computer printed out a strange transparent sheet. Huh, can we interact with it again? Still clueless? I guess, figures. Uh, want another tip? Yes, please! There's a void beyond the four walls that bind our world to yours. The edges of your viewport where everything is obscured. I'm sure you know what that means. Per okay, pass the film through the void and back again. I think I know what that means. 
the viewpoint, the viewpoint, my display, my screen that I'm looking at. Oh, I'm dragging it the wrong way. I'm an idiot. All right, so let's take this and drag it off to the, oh, wait, 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 wait. I keep forgetting to activate the, uh, there we go. Activate it and back again. <gasps> Look! Oh, I did it! Oh, okay. We got it now. We're good. Okay. Took me a little bit to uh, get that figured out, but we got it. All right, so we have a code for something that I don't know. Three or six three zero one four. Okay, we have a code. That's pretty good, if you ask me. We've got a code. Um, I guess let's get out of here. I mean, we got the, we got the plant potted and everything. But we need to figure out a way to, um, get the elevator up and running. So how can we do that? Oh god, we got some void. Now we can go down. I guess we have to go down. There's no other way we can go currently. So let's go down. Alright, can't go that way. Can't go that way. God, man, this place is a disrepair right now. Oh, look, we got a little restaurant. Oh, and there's a little coffee thing. It's an empty coffee tin. Let's talk to you. Oh, hi there. Hello! How come there aren't any people in here? Normally, cafes have a ton of people. It's true. Yeah, it's a really slow day. Do you think it's because the ground access elevator is broken? So I've been told, the city's infrastructure has been suffering a lot lately. Skywalks and stairs breaking off left and right. And now the only reliable way of transport are those elevators. Until now, anyway. Huh. Well, we have a metal can. Maybe we can, like, cut it? Maybe we can make a button out of this. Yeah, okay, cool. I can cut a piece of the can and fold it into a rectangle shape. And it looks like arts and crafts. Hmm, I don't know if this is supposed to be that simple. How are we going to connect it to the elevator? Let's find out. I guess we will find it. So we got a button that says ground now. Uh, can we just use the magnets on them? Magnets don't stick to aluminum, but what if we folded the magnets under this edge? Hmm. It's holding together just barely. I hope that's good enough. Magnetize the button with magnets loosely attached. Alright. Is that enough? Could be. Let's run back and see if it's enough to hold together. Uh, I guess we'll find out one way or another. Uh, and... I hope I have all the pieces that we need to continue, so I guess let's go ahead and bring that out and try it. Alright, let's hope this works. The button fits snugly and I think the machine is powering on. The, button's co the button completely fell apart. Hey, you tried. Aw, oh, man. Okay, I think I know what we need to do. We need to go... Where was it? Where was that library? It is! Alright, so we need... We have the you tried. Can we use... Can we tape it together? Hold it together with the tape. Should have done this in the first place. There we go. And now we have a taped button. And hopefully that is enough in order to fix the ground elevator for the city. Let's go ahead and try this out. Let's do it. Let's hope this works. <gasps> It worked! Woo! Whoa! Nico! What's happening? Reactivating elevator services. Please input security code to continue. What? That's never happened before. The squares? Huh? You saw them, right? They were on the door and... Oh, nah. The square stuff happens all the time. Something I see every day. You know, not a big deal. I meant the whole security code thing. But then again, the elevator hasn't been this broken before. Hmm. I guess we should go look for a code, Peyton. Go look for a code, but we have the code. Hmm. Hmm. We have the code to this elevator, so we can definitely get through here. I think we have done everything we need to do in order to go to the surface. But guys, I think this is a pretty good place to end this episode. Uh... We made a lot of progress. Definitely a good place to end it. Uh, if I missed anything, obviously, guys, let me know how I'm doing in the comments down below. Definitely always appreciate your guys' 
comments, but I'm going to go ahead and end this one here. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, be sure to leave a like down below. And hey, if you're new to the channel, why not subscribe? You can get more awesome content just like this. And do not forget to ring that bell to be notified when I upload a video. But that said, you guys, that's going to be it for me today. Once again, thank you so much for watching. So until next time, Cosmic Army, I will see you in the next video. So until then, keep on being stellar.